Yeah, uh, good afternoon, guys, and uh, mind gabby to our friends here in the Philippines. Guys, drama. Drama. Who loves a drama? Who doesn't love a drama? Amongst all these vloggers. We've got a few vloggers on the Highland of Bohol that um, thrive. They absolutely thrive on drama. And... Um, when they can control the drama to their benefit, they love it. However, when the drama is outside of their control, they can't control it, they're not so keen on that type of drama. Now, these pair of parasites that you sit sitting there are telling some Lady Beth uh, from day one have loved the drama and that is reflected in their clickbait titles and the subject matter on their channel uh, they sail quite close to the wind uh, as far as content is concerned um, starting with the many many adopted daughters they know it's controversial they know it's a drama and they know it will attract views, AdSense to their channel. So they create a drama. But when they're called out, they're not too happy. They don't like that kind of drama. They like to be uh, looked upon as holier than thou. So attracting other channels, like this channel here and many others, who call them out, for their behaviour uh, on YouTube, they're not in control of that and they don't like it. I want to give you a few examples of these two uh, individuals here. Um, one of the most disgusting uh, things I ever seen them do, amongst many, was the Lady in Chains. And if any, anyone's not saw this video, go and look, go to this channel and just take a look. Uh, a young girl was, uh, she was mentally disturbed and uh, her parents uh, couldn't control her and she used to run off and things like that. Now this young girl, when I say young, she's probably about 17 or 18. Anyway, the parents used to chain her inside of the house. So these two parasites, oh this will make a great story. Uh, arrived and uh, stuck their camera into the face of this young girl and it was absolutely atrocious. That was a drama and they didn't like the backlash that they received. And there's many, many examples of what these two parasites have done. But as I keep saying, they don't like the backlash. They started off building um, houses for the poor skimmed a lot of money off the top um we're able to buy a brand new ford raptor build many many houses for their family uh, members and uh, swimming pools foreign holidays oh you name it they had it now the parasite here uh, tintin he arrived in the philippines with um $2,000. All of a sudden, he's got loads of money. He didn't make that off YouTube. But we all know where the money came from. And um, there's been a constant uh, drama around these two individuals. Too many to mention here. But what they have tried to do now... Uh, it's laughable, it really is, and it just sums these two, uh, two people up. That in every title now, uh, we um, are distributing food with the PNP. <laughs> the PNP is in every title, and the reason for that is because if you if you mess with us, uh, the PNP are our friends, are the abolics. 
the PMP may have been distributing food, but Terence and Beth decides to roll up, get the video camera out, and make it look like they were part of that drama again. But I, as I say, they do not like, they do not like being called out. And on many occasions when they've been called out, they've hit back. Uh, Lady Beth, vicious. She is absolutely a vicious, this one. I've seen many a video where she's calling out the, uh, the trolls. And the man on the right here, our husband, this 83 year old, gets on his throne and starts calling other channels bottom feeders. Well, we're maybe bottom feeders, but I'll tell you what we're not. We didn't take two and a half thousand pound, should I say two and a half thousand dollars, out of a GoFundMe for Baby Faith. And we did not spend that two and a half thousand pound on the church, your driveway, and your kitchen. So, who's the bottom feeder? Who is the bottom feeder, Tintin? There's a video going to come up very shortly with all the details of what you did, with proof. So, these people here, they love drama. They cannot live without it. Their channel cannot survive without it. And previous to the Tyrone, their channel uh, was on life support. 224,000 subscribers, 300 views on a video. Absolutely ridiculous that. But views have gone up now. They've uploaded over 200 videos since the Typhoon, all on the Typhoon. And they've milked it and milked it till it can't, <coughs> I can't see how much longer they can go on with this, but I've no doubt they'll find a way and they will make a killing. And this is Terence and Beth, Lady Beth and Tintin. Two of the biggest parasites on the highland of Bohol. They love a drama when they're in control. And let's move on to the uh, next recipients of the drama merchant, shall we? And then, of course, we have the uh, second uh, recipient of the uh, drama. Who loves a drama award? The Bohovel Dwellers, Maricel and Bosso. Always a drama at the Bohovel. Always a crisis and a drama at the Bohovel. Every video. It has become known as a drama channel. And when the drama is of a benefit to them, i.e. e-begging, when the donations come in, it's great. But when they get called out for it, they don't like it. They don't like being called out about it. They don't like being criticised. The fact that they are living like squatters, they are living and acting like panhandlers and freeloaders, and they're getting called out for it, is drama and they do not like that give you an example here um boss hog the bully uploading videos is gd mead a criminal is gd mead mentally ill is gd mead a drunk it's all drama for views and ad sense but as soon as GD Mead makes a video about him, it's not happy. Don't like it. And that's when he pushes the activate button for his troll army. 
to go and attack people. Love the drama as long as they are in control of it. As I just said previously, every day on this channel, there is drama. It's constant. They're on the edge of having no money. Um, the broke. We don't know if we want to survive. They create, they've created this scenario that they're absolutely piss poor and you must help them. Their channel was started uh, a foreigner farmer in the Philippines uh, to show people how to make a profit and in the four years all he's done is he begged. He's never made a profit. The uh, final, final thing that he said, uh, the tilapia, at last I can make a profit. That has been wiped out by the typhoon. However, prior to the typhoon, he couldn't feed them because he didn't have any fish food. Creating drama for his own benefit so that donations will flood in. Now, a little bit off subject here, but it has been noted recently that um, Maricel, Gina and Boss Hog have never lifted a finger to do any kind of cleaning up at the Bohovel. And what was noticeable on Maricel's last video, I suggest you go on across there and have a look. What was noticeable was how clean Boss Hog was, how clean Gina was, how clean Tatsai and the kids were. Do you think these parasites are staying at the Bohovel? Of course they're not. They've created a drama out of this time film that the poverty stricken these parasites are staying in a hotel. If you were living in the same squalor as what Nerio, his neighbours, living in, it wouldn't be as clean. They wouldn't have all them clean clothes. No. This channel here, Boss Hog, Maricel's Ratstead Kitchen, thrive on drama when they get criticized when they get called out as scammers and e-beggars which is what they are they do not like it but i've got some news for you brian we're not going to go away that little hotel that you're staying in when we find out where it is yes we'll be exposing that as well and it will come out and we will expose it. Guys, Boss Hog, Tintin, and their two channels love drama. As long as they can control it. As long as you're aware of that and what these parasites are about. The vloggers of Bohol, Boss Hog, Tintin, Lynn and Anthony, love, love drama. Clickbait titles, creating controversy, attacking their neighbours, attacking the locals, you name it. They'll kick up a fuss and create this drama to benefit themselves. One last thing, one last thing. You've got Nerio, who is helping to clean up the shit old Bohovel. And here's Boss Hog selling the old roof that blew off his 
a house. Not giving it away. He's selling it to Nerio. Can you believe that? When did you see these two parasites handing anything out or helping any of the locals with food and water? When did you see anything like that? The only thing these drama artists have done is help themselves and they continue to help themselves. Absolute drama parasites. Till the next time, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Whatever you do, don't be sending money here. Bye for now.